Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys had a fantastic new year. Um, with the start of 2020, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at installing the custom community store for Home Assistant. Um, it's going to be a fairly simple process, so the video won't be that long. Um, what it'll allow us to do is it'll allow us to go ahead and install custom components way easier than going the manual process for each of those custom cards and components. So with that said, let's quickly go ahead and take a look. There we go. So we're back in Home Assistant. As you can see, everything looks exactly the same as we left it last time. So uh, the only difference in here is I added a new tab. This was just for some testing. I didn't add any additional components. Everything is still exactly the same as we left it last time. So what we'll do in here is we're going to go ahead and open up the GitHub page for the HACS itself. So on here, um, all we need to do is I'll show you each and every step. So what we'll do here is we'll just go ahead and download the HACS.zip file right here. Let's quickly wait for that to download. There we go. So then once we downloaded that and we have it open, so I have it listed right in here. So that's the file that we just downloaded. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up our Home Assistant installation, which I also already have open. Remember, that's just going to hasio.local. Um, you can go ahead and type that in. It should open up your files that we have if you have installed. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and open up our config folder right here. Now in here, we need to go ahead and create a new folder and go ahead and say new folder and we need to name it custom components exactly like this right here and i'll have this listed down below in the description as well as well as the download link to that file then once we have this file in here all we need to do is we can just go ahead and open it up and then this file right here so if we open up this you'll see it shows us all the information that's in this specific file but what we could do is um, i'm using uh, winrar but we can just go ahead and drag it over and say extract to that folder within the hacs folder itself so once that's completed we should be good to go with adding in those files so the only thing we need to do next is go ahead and add that information into home assistant itself so let's quickly go ahead and do that. So once we added that into our custom components folder, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a personal access token on GitHub. That's just to go ahead and download all the information or the updates from GitHub itself. And the easiest way would be, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, you'll go right in here where it says personal access tokens. And as you can see, I already have one set up here, but you can go ahead and generate a new token, give it a name, and I'm just going to call this so it doesn't have a duplicate. That's all we do is we just give it a name, click on generate token. And then once you have generated that token, we can go ahead and copy this and add it into our Home Assistant installation. Now keep in mind, you need to go ahead and restart Home Assistant. So after we added in the files, so after we added in this folder, um we need to go ahead and restart home assistant as well once we have restarted home assistant we can go ahead and copy this file right the copy the code we have generated in um, github itself and there we go so home assistant went ahead and restarted so we added in the folder and we went ahead and generated our personal token so the only thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and add that component into home assistant after the restart all we need to do is we click on configuration right here then click on integrations to the bottom right you'll see that plus sign right there we'll just click on it we should see if we start typing in HACS, so the Home Assistant Community Store. We can just go ahead and click on that. Right here, it'll ask for that personal token that we generated, so we can go ahead and paste that in there. The name of the panel title, so right here, is going to be Community. I mean, we can call it, uh, I prefer having it listed as a store. 
the rest of the information we can leave. Uh, we can enable app daemon, app discovery and tracking. We can enable Python. So it'll just give us more functionality of in store items as well. So we can go ahead and enable those, hit, click on the submit button. And that'll go ahead and enable that add-on for us. So once that's enabled, we can go ahead and click on finish. And then right here, you'll see we have the store listed. So we can go ahead and click on that. It's going to give us all the information. It'll tell us that it has been successfully installed. So we need to go ahead and click on continue. And then click on continue again. So it's just a short introduction. And this will take a while. So we can go ahead and click on continue and continue so it's going to take quite a while to set up all the uh, information in here so we'll go ahead and continue 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 you can go ahead and read through all the information that is in here it's quite there's quite a lot of information so you can go through that but once you're finished you'll see it gives us the options right here now you'll need to go ahead and wait for this to completely load up all the information and integrations that you can use with home assistant so it's going to take quite a while like it can take quite definitely a long time because it needs to go ahead and pull that information from github and update all the components and integrations that is available there we go guys and that's going to be it for this one it was just a quick video just to show you how to get um the custom community store installed um setting up each individual component i, I may do a separate video on that um some components require a bit more configuration than others but you can go out go ahead and take a look at all the information in there but if i do add anything to my home assistant i'll go ahead and add that on there and create a tutorial for you guys on how to add custom components in there if you do get stuck somewhere so with that said i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day